Hi everyone, so right now I'm just getting all of my wet ingredients all together, so I already have my butter in there and now I'm going to add my sugar to cream it all together. And I'm just gonna let this sit here until it all looks all combined and all creamy. Okay, that looks good. So it should look all combined and creamy essentially. Right now we're going to add our two eggs. So after I cracked those eggs, I just went ahead and washed my hands because eggs are just in case for salmonella, anything like that, you wanna wash your hands, you wanna make sure you wash your area. Now I'm going to add a splash of vanilla. I like using vanilla bean paste, so I'm just going to do a quick little, and that should be good. And now you're just gonna mix this all together. Okay, so I have mixed everything together, all my, basically, all my wet ingredients except for my buttermilk and lemon so at this point i have already juiced my lemon i have a lemon juicer if you don't have one that's okay you can squeeze it with your hands and i have also got my lemon zest right here and half a cup of buttermilk so i'm just going to go ahead and dump this in buttermilk is really thick so just make sure you get it all out if you don't have anything to scrape it out and then i'm going to add my lemon juice if you don't like the taste of real lemons, you can use whatever lemon juice you have. I have some that is in a bottle, but I prefer the taste of real lemons. And then I'm just gonna add in my lemon zest. And then I'm gonna give this a mix and wash my hands and then we'll be back. Okay, now I'm just going to sift in my dry ingredients. So this is my sifter. It's not the one that you shake. It does have a turn handle. So I'm going to add in my cup and a half of all purpose flour. And then I'm just going to mix this in. Do you see how it's coming out a lot finer than it is when it goes in? This is what we want. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two teaspoons of baking soda. So I did just did my one and then I'm gonna do my second one off camera. All right, so all my dry ingredients are in and now we are just going to gently fold. This is that folding motion I was talking about. So you're not just going to mix it all in, you're going to fold it on top itself until it is all combined. This kind of takes a while so I'm just gonna go finish this up and then I will be back. Okay, now that all of my dry ingredients have been folded in, I can add my blueberries. Now I like to add a little bit at a time to see how much I really want in there. I have washed these, so make sure you guys are wa washing all of your guys' produce, okay? I'm gonna add this in for now and again, you're just gonna fold it in there. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more. This will probably be good. And then we're going to save some for the top. When we put it in our loaf pan, we'll add a couple blueberries to the top, just for presentation. Okay, that looks good. I've lined my tin loaf pan with some parchment paper. You do not have to do this. I just find it easier to get it out with the parchment paper down there. Don't worry about if it's coming up at all. When you put in the batter, it will flatten down. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump it in there. Okay, this is what it should look like. I like to smack it down a couple times. And now that we have our extra blueberries, we are able to decorate it on top a little bit. Put some in there and 
make it look pretty. If you want to make a smiley face, make a smiley face. Nobody is here to judge you. All right, so this is what it looks like, and now it's going to go into the oven for 45 minutes. So my lemon loaf is out of the oven. It is cooled down. So I can go ahead and start making my glaze. It's gonna be a cup of powdered sugar. Two tablespoons of milk. I will do the other one off camera. And then two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, and I will just start mixing it up and then add the other one off camera just to kind of show you guys what it should look like. All right, my mixture is all done. This is what it looks like, and I'm just going to slowly pour it on top. And once it cools a little bit more, it will harden on top. This is really up to you on how much glaze you guys want. Obviously, it will pull more towards the ends. Just making sure I get it all covered. And that's probably all I'm going to do. Okay, and so there you have it. There is your first ever blueberry aluminum loaf.